If you're not already considering direct-to-film, the $125 billion U.S. sportswear apparel market should be your motivation to compete. With DTF, you can deliver a branded jersey that players rely on, fans love, and coaches return season after season to purchase. And by integrating your process with Adobe Illustrator, you can effortlessly and accurately print players' names and numbers beautifully. Let's take a look. You'll need a database input software, such as Excel or Google Sheets. In this case, we're using Mac numbers. We're going to first name our columns to categorize our variables, such as player number and last name. Heads up, you cannot include any spaces in the names of your columns, or you will get an error in Illustrator. So make these one word strings. Save your template and send it off to your customer as part of your order request system where they can enter their numbers and names and export everything back to you as a CSV. Let's head over to Illustrator and create our 300 DPI document, bring up our rulers and our reference jersey so we can start creating. After designing, here comes the main part. If we want our last names, which are all different lengths, to keep their certain width, which is 13 inches, we're going to make sure our text is centered, select the text, and go to Object, Envelope, select Warp, and set all of these numbers to zero. Great. Now we go to Window, Variables, Import, and select our customer's CSV. Our variables will show, ready to be linked. This is the button that will do that for us. Make text dynamic. We'll do the same with the front number. For the player name, since we used object envelope earlier, we will need to highlight the text to link and make it text dynamic. We can now see that all of your data sets are available in the dropdown, and you can tab through to view each variable. Now you can export each jersey separately. Or, with more automation, we can run a batch export action. To do that, you will open Actions, under Window Actions, and press the plus sign to create a new action. You'll name your action and begin recording, which will legitimately record what you do next. So we want to show the action to export as a PNG with artboards. and then stop the action immediately afterwards. In the drop-down action menu, select Batch, choose a folder to save your batch export to, and all you need to be sure to check is the box that says Override Action Export Commands. Click OK, and then sit back, as all of your jerseys automatically export as PNGs to your designated location. And now, your batch designs are ready to print. You've seen it here first. Combining variable data with DTF will allow you to automate your processes. It's cost effective, and whether printing for a league of 100, a team of 10, or just one player, you'll come out with the W. So, if you're going for the green, contact DTF Superstore today. It isn't just a game changer, it's a game winner.